we used up a lot of spare parts. We came in a situation when actually all the spare parts available in the world for these vehicles were used. Uh, we had uh, three times the spare parts coming in with the aircrafts. Um, and we ended up uh, with two broken vehicles, 350k from the South Pole. And we had to make a decision if we were going to travel light with two vehicles still operative into the pole and reach the pole, or if we should leave all the equipment out there. And we decided the last, we established what we call the Camp Winter and wanted to have all the equipment at one site and not spread out uh, on two different sites, which would have made the start of uh, the next season more complicated. I am starting to drain out the coolant liquid in the engine because the temperature can go below 60, 70 centigrade. I'm not sure if the coolant will make it. So for the winter, we we set up all the vehicles in the sled so they're they're lined in the predominant wind direction so so we expect if there's a big storm in the winter all the, the wind will come this way and any drift that form will form kind of downwind of the vehicles it's also nice we have all the vehicles on sleds and on a big berm a uh, fuel berm we we built down at the other end and that'll also help keep the vehicles and all the supplies from getting drifted in by the winter um, blowing some drifting snow. So I think we've got a, a winter camp set up pretty pretty good here and it should last the winter just fine. Yeah, um, we're bummed that we couldn't make it to the pole with the vehicles, but uh, you know, as you see, we, the ice coast are getting loaded. They're making, back, uh, making it back home. And we're all happy and healthy, so that's, uh, that's the best thing, I guess. We got a lot of stuff to put on the plane. It's a uh, 9.15 in the morning on January 20th and the plane is actually just arriving now and we're gonna load the last boxes of core. We already had two flights yesterday to uh, transport the course out. Yeah, if anybody's in there now, they're in trouble. Well, this is it. <laughs> yeah, no leaving the camp. As far as I'm concerned, we achieved all of our goals. It was a really good trip. Uh, it's been a very successful expedition, I must say. Uh, we have collected uh, a lot of data, more than 700 meters of ice cores, continuous radar data along 2,300 kilometers. 
Uh, we have done sampling for pollution studies and we have uh, looked at the snow and fern properties. Uh, we have uh, used satellite data uh, to, s to compare with the uh, ground fruit data. So all in all, very successful expedition. Before I was not a, such a uh, high spirit person, but they just had this the guts that you know, to never give up, and that was the uh, the biggest lesson for me. <laughs> he looks like a pilgrimage, doesn't he? Yeah, he does.